All right, this is a video with some extras and entries, extra stuff, things that aren't required to do over under, but uh, as you go through it, you might like some extra stuff. And uh, one thing is the way we get there, when we're doing like bullfighter passes, or <coughs> could be with this grip on the, on the pants, and I start to, and maybe some reason I'm being framed and blocked, and, and I don't want to go backwards, but I, I can't advance anymore, but look, I can keep something, I can keep here, and look, I'm gonna to switch to the over-under and start to get into that position. So, it could be that version with the pants where you're, where you're trying to like spin the guy. It could also be the version where you're handing on hip and you're going to do the leg drag here and he's blocking. I can also drop that. Okay, so there's a couple ways to get there. I'm trying to think how else I get there. Knee flips? Do the knee slide, the guy pushing me back? Could be, let's see. Yeah, sometimes I'm here and you know, the guy's pushing me back, I can switch under. So a lot of times when you're feeling that, you're, you're bouncing off of your speed, you're hitting frames and you're trying to speed pass, it's a good time to use your agility passing to set up a, a pressure pass because the agility makes them defend in, in a, another angle, right? Like I could never get, when I'm doing over-under, coach would not put his arms like this because when I do, when I do over-under, he's gonna put his arms down low to block him here. But when I start to bullfighter, for example, he's gonna be up here. So it makes it easier to adjust to the low position because he's framing a different angle. He's, especially if I go left, right a few times and I'm confusing him. Uh, this is a great little tip. If you notice the over-under pass <coughs> is basically the same thing as half guard on when I get to the half guard position. So Bernardo Faria is good at over-under pass and half guard. He does this, he's always doing this kind of control of the hip or the leg or whatever position. And when we're here, look at my legs. I can do a knee bar. Lock, lock. And I'm gonna get, slide down here. So you see I'm low on the body. I'm controlling the hips and I slide to the heel, make a triangle if need be, and make the, now if I roll him back over, a lot of times I'm over under passing and he's always trying to push me down. Can you do that? I catch. Okay. And uh, I think Bernardo shows that in his instructional on this over under pass. I think he, and he shows like in a match, you know, he, he, he goes pretty fast, but take good care of your partners. Don't hurt your knee. Train your partner's knee. Go slow on that one, but it's a, it's a great submission. I learned it years ago from Nautilus Ferris. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, six, eight years later, I finally started hitting it, and now I hit it all the time. What else? Can we show anything cool? The grip is pretty cool. We talked about it last time. But whenever I'm here, he's always going to be turning to face me, blocking, and then extending his body away, you know, moving this. He's always going to be defending. So if I can get his lapels loose before I, I, I start the pass, I can use that lapel. So when I dive in, I can start looking for it here. So now we're going to block him away. It's harder for him to get that in and get motion. It's a nice thing. I think, what else? Sometimes the guy tries to come where you here. And I'm in this, I'm not going to go on the, on the toes, I'm just going to stay low so you guys can see. He goes for the Kimura grip. That's another good defense for him to do. I can take this hand, slide it through, peel it off. Get a strong grip. See the I'm gonna bring it, peel it, and now I can start coming back. It's the upper body, peel off the Kimura. Hmm, trying to think of what else. Sometimes, What happens, maybe if you're trying to, uh, if you're trying to um, control that arm, like maybe you're grabbing that wrist and he's stiff arming me and you know, giving me a hard time, I'm, I'm a little bit having a hard time advancing, I can always try to jump back, switch to double unders as well. Right, just like it's a, it's a little sequence here, because now when I try to go double unders, he drops the leg heavy. Like, yeah, he's not letting me lift the leg and so I can pull it down, step over. He blocks me in my wrist here, I can retreat, right? Get under both legs. 
So I can always go back between, because every time I try to lift the leg, he's always dropping it heavy. I pull it down and cover over. Or if he drops this leg heavy, I can go and start transitioning it over. So all these, all these his passes really work together if you start working on over under. You know what? Let's show the entry from uh, Close Guard, the GSP. This is a bonus tape for you guys. So I'm in here. Gi, no gi, MMA works in a lot of situations up to a point. When the guy puts the foot on my hip, because he sees my arm, he's going to go to the arm bar. He's going to start attacking me, possibly here, and hit me with the arm bar. So whenever I feel that foot go on my hip, I kind of trap it, slide the knee over, and step. He's locked it in. So that's the way you can go from the guard pass. Then what happens at over under, I did that pass for maybe 10 years, that same pass, I would do it all the time. I'd go in the closed guard, I'd wait for the guy to put the foot on the hip, and then I would just do a huge circle step and start passing here. And what happened is, there's a lot of guys, if you watch, uh, I'm trying to think of some famous people that do it a lot. Nate and Nick Diaz are great at this. Nate and Nick Diaz are always grabbing his wrist. And then over up this arm. See, I want to have this control when I do this pass. Let's go step by step. He puts the foot, I slide, I step over. So I'm here and here. But what happens is I go for the, the underhook. He creates an overhook, arches his body weight, stiff arms his wrist. Just stiff arm it, you see? He has a strong grip here. And then the problem is his knee goes underneath my hand. Bring your knee to your chest, his knee. Underneath, underneath, go, underneath, go back. Go under my hand, grab it, walk it, and go under. Under my hand. Down to the floor, bring it, yep, triangle choke. He's gonna attack me with the triangle choke. He never did it, so he's getting, you know, he's learning it right now. So what happens is anytime the guy's in this situation, he's gonna block that wrist strong, grab this arm, and get that knee out. Triangle choke, block, triangle, go, go, go. Okay, you do it to me one time, so you guys can see. So he's here, he's got this underhook here, and he's pushing his knee down. So this is a situation that happens all the time. He's pushing my knee, push my knee, please. This happens all the time. He's, you guys, you've been here, I'm sure. When the guy's put in the chest, the chest pressure, he's about to push my knee down and start passing my half guard, right? Or just, you know, slide in here. So as he's pushing that knee down, I'm fighting. Push, push hard, try to get him to the floor. I'm fighting here. This battle right here. And the problem is when I grab his wrist, he tries to come closer. He really can't. Even if he goes chest to chest, even if he goes pressure on me now, my leg can still slip out. You see, it start attacking this triangle kind of situation, which is very dangerous for him because his arms. He's got the underhook, but I have the overhook, right? So as he starts pushing, I block, and then my knee pops free, and I kind of start coming out to that scenario. So that's when I started doing the over-under, actually. Uh, Roly Delgado, I was visiting his gym years ago, maybe 2008 or 9, in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Thank you, Roly Delgado, for sharing that with me. And I never did over-under until 2008 or 9. Uh, so I was like, I just uh, not in my game at the time as a pro I think. And uh, I showed it to Rowley and his guys, Kevin and Mark Sniff, were triangling me and left and right. Great guys. I hope you guys watch this video and remember finally choking me so many times those days. You guys are awesome. And, and, I, and, and uh, Rowley Delgado was nice enough to share the counter to what they were doing, which was triangle choking me. So he's switching to over-under. So watch what happens. He goes to put on my hip. I slide my knee over. I step. And he blocks the wrist. gets the overhook. So now I'm here, stiff arming here. And the... The thing is, it's hard to advance. So what the good solution here is to go back a little bit, switch to over-under. And now the more he pushes this down, he just helps me to go to the over-under. So these cut passes combine really well together. You guys can see it again. So that's actually how I started doing over-under. The guy puts the foot on my hip, I slide my knee over, I bring my hand, I step, keep the knee high here, keep the knee high, block my wrist. He's fighting to keep that knee up, trying to keep the knee up so I don't push it down. He wants to keep it up. Grab my wrist strong, please. So I'm here. So if I keep going, he's gonna possibly slip that knee out underneath. So rather than go rather than go into the trap, I'm just gonna get this arm back, keep it strong, please. I slip under and go here.
cool. Thank you. Thank you guys.